Hey guys, Sean here at Mahalo.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create music CDs in Windows 7. Creating music CDs in Windows 7 is a very simple and easy process. To add any music you have to a CD, simply right click and add it to the drive. To do this, I'll just view some music I have, clicking on the start menu, then music. For instance, in the sample music, let's say I'd like to add these three items to my CD. I'll just highlight the three items, right click on them, and then send to, and I'll send it to the DVD RW drive. Now this could be different for you. It could be a CD drive, could be a Blu-ray drive. As long as it's a writable drive, they can write to CDs. Now I'd like to select with the CD DVD player. And I can also title my disc here at the top. I'll hit next. And there you go, these items are listed as being on the DVD drive. And these items are slightly translucent, and that just shows that they are ready to be written, but they're not written to the disk yet. To simply write these to the disk, I'll just click on Burn to Disk. And again, I can decide the title of the disk, also the recording speed. You can leave the recording speed as default settings, although if you do have problems with the CDs, as far as the recording process not completing all the way, I do suggest turning down the recording speed. Maybe to a 24 or a 16. Then hit Next. And this is where you decide whether or not you'd like to play your CD in a car stereo, for instance, or on another computer. For instance, I'd like to play this CD in my car stereo, so I'll select an audio CD for standard audio CD players, then hit Next. Now the items are brought up in Windows Media Player. And from here, you can just click on Start Burn. And the reason these files are brought up in Windows Media Player is they have to be converted in a format that can be played on a standard CD player. So from here, I just click on Start Burn. Right now at the bottom of the screen we can see the status of our CD being burnt. The status is also displayed next to the CD in the top right of the screen. You do not want to eject the disc for any reason during this process because your CD will be useless. And there you go, the CD is ejected and the burning process is complete. And if I wanted, I could put this in my car stereo or standard CD player. And that's it, and now you know how to burn an audio CD to play in a CD player in Windows 7. If you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below, and thanks for watching.